today I am going on a special toy hunt in Oregon. Do you guys want to be in the video quickly? No. No? <laughs> My friend doesn't want to be. But I am here with Ryan and do you want to be in the video? Taylor. And, and a helicopter. <laughs> and a helicopter. <laughs> Yeah, so I am here on a vacation with my friends. They booked us a vacation for our wedding gift. So we're kind of on a second honeymoon with a whole bunch of people. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go to Fred Meyers. I've never been to Fred Meyers before. So we're going to go check out their toy section and, and some Starbucks because I am tired. Even though I sound like I have energy, I was falling asleep in the car. You guys know? They're gonna watch me fail. Is um, Pokemon Go? They're we've gonna been, watch we've me been fail. catching a lot of Pokemon. I'm bad at it. Ryan just started yesterday, so. Yeah. Oh, that's a better throw. What do you mean better? It's the only one I did. First try. Right. I'm totally gonna include the other clip. No, you're not. Oh, you got it. Congrats. This place is so nice. It's so big and so well organized. And not a lot of people here. So hopefully, I mean, it seems like most of the people here are like, you know, older generations. So maybe the toy section will be really quiet too. Toys. I think this is the toy section, right? Yeah, this is the toy section. Here we are. Oh, okay, people. I got, I gotta, I gotta do the feet, feet, feet technique. All right, let's go aisle by aisle. Here they have like the putty and slime and stuff and then some board games okay I'm hoping to find some toys that I haven't seen in a while or I haven't seen at all because they're so new okay let's go to the next aisle next one oh Barbie section okay so doll section here they have some Looney Tune Barbie collaboration outfit do they have any other ones? Or is this the only one? I think that's the only one. Oh, they have the Toy Story outfits here too. There's the Bo Peep one. I'm trying to show you guys as much as I can. Hold on one second. There is the Buzz Lightyear shirt, Bo Peep, Buzz Lightyear. Oop, I'll pick that up. Bo Peep, Bo Peep, okay. Oop, oop, dropping everything, dropping everything. Oh, that's so cute though! Forky and Woody shirt. I like the all character one too. That is super cute. Alright, let's go down this aisle. Ooh, Bobble Friends. I love painting these. I really need to get back into like toy customization because I really do miss it. And the toy market today is not very, it's not the same as, you know, when I first started my toy channel. So, like, it's, like, not a lot of things that can excite me anymore. Some Hatchimals. I don't know if these are new. That might be a new series um, from Hatchimals. Oh, I haven't seen these in a while. Oh, those are so cute. Yeah, we don't really see a lot of My Little Pony toys anymore either. Um, okay, so they have some more My Little Pony, not too many. Um, Little Less Pet Shop, but these are the little teeny weeny ones. Um, teensy weensy, teeny weeny, I don't know. Do they have the LOL OMG dolls? Because that would be amazing if they do have some. I'm looking, looking carefully, looking carefully. Okay, anything? Ooh, Calico Critters. These look cute. Oh, oh, and they're different series. So the blue, they have the Baby Band series and the Baby Shopping series. Cute. Cute, cute. But not what I'm looking for. Alright, let's keep going. Keep going. Puzzles. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. This must be a new show on Nickelodeon. It's called Butter Butterbeans Cafe. The figures look pretty cute. Are they like fairies? Oh, they also have like blind boxes, blind whatever you want to call these, blind cake stands. They're getting creative. People are getting creative with their packaging and I love it. Because these, after you open them, you can probably use it as a prop for your American Girl doll if you have one. Here we have Legos. I have not seen this set before. It's called the Movie Maker set. 
Moving on to the next aisle. So far, my wallet has not taken any kind of damage to its current balance. Are we gonna be able to keep it that way or are we gonna find some treasures? I do not know. So they have some Toy Story toys here and these are the Hot Wheel um, Toy Story series but there are eight in this collection but they only have four of them out currently which is Woody, Buzz Lightyear, Alien, and Rex. So they're definitely going to come out with the other four but as you can see they are covered up so I guess that means that's gonna be wave two. So here is the Alien one which is number three. I wanna see if I can show you the other ones too. Um, here is Woody. Um, I see Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear, what's the other one? The last one I did not show, oh, was Rex. Right here. They are so cool, I love these. I love the fact that they're coming out with a lot of like Disney collaboration Hot Wheels. So I actually opened um, every single one of these. I got like the codes and I opened every single one of these. But they also have series two, which is this one. And I guess the special edition is the Astro Buzz Lightyear Glow in the Dark, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm not gonna get these here, but maybe I'll find some when I get back home. Cause they're so tiny, so tedious. Looks like they're doing um, like the chocolate ones. So Crunch. Snow caps. Uh, that's all number three. Okay, they also have runs over here. Number five, number three. Okay, so those are the only ones I see here. They also have gob goobers. So yeah, the toy section here was pretty good, but it just didn't have the things I wanted. But yeah, I mean, I'm glad I got to check it out. But. Mm not so much success here we're gonna go check out this small toy store called under the, under the big toe i don't know why i almost read it as toe <laughs> under the big toe under the big top it's in seaside um oregon so let's go inside guys i'm so sorry for showing like feet of people but i'm trying to be really careful not to you know invade other people's private see private see private information privacy my brain is really chugging today. Oh, 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 hi, Rai. Hi. Over here, guys, they have the Lottie dolls. I think these were made in the UK. I've never seen them in store until now. Oh, this one is really cute. I love the packaging for that. That one is really cute, too. That one's really cute as well. That one's like a playset with outfit. They have a horse here, too. I really like this um, rainbow jacket one too and they have some outfit sets. They have the astronaut one and superhero one and some playset for the cat too. Look, they have the boy doll which is called Finn. It's super cute. I think I might get a few of these dolls because I haven't seen them in real life and they look really cute too. Oh, 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 guys, I see Monchichi. <gasps> How cute. That is super cute. And they have the ba baby Chichi. Oh my goodness. They have the baby one of the baby boy of baby Chichi too. We found a Goodwill. And now I'm going to the toy section. They even have a toy section labeled. So we're going to the toy section and see if they have anything. Okay, so far I see puzzles and um, like board games. Oh, look at that. It's quite organized. It's nice. Oh my goodness. I was so spoiled when I was in New Hampshire. Like, you know, I would see good toy section in thrift stores all the time. And then I didn't really have them. <laughs> Oh, they do have um, the animator's doll. This one is for the little, um, what is it? The small world, right? I think you can get them at like Disney outlet stores. Okay guys, it's kind of hard to see, look like looking through the small window on my camera. So I'm going to look through and, oh, look. <laughs> what? Every time I've been trying to go in front of you, uh -huh. you go to the other side and turn around. Oh, <laughs> I see Pinkie Pie. I think, is this like the walking Pinkie Pie? I think so. I don't really see anything that I want. I was kind of hoping to find some LPSs or Monster High dolls, but I don't really see them. 
but it just feels so good to come into a thrift store that has a pretty good selection of toys i mean look at them they have pretty good ones and they're quite organized ryan found something we found a skim board for eight dollars and he he was actually planning on getting one so that we could he could ride it is it technically a rideable thing right yeah, yeah. Right. you can ride it at the beach and he's gonna re-donate it or give it to the hotel resort there That's it cool. is right there kinokuniya is inside that store uajimaya i think that's the store dancing and stop singing their song each morning to the sun. <laughs> they stop visiting the beaches. They stop visiting the countryside. They, they should have, that was pretty cool. I really like that. That was cool. I like that. We are at a Japanese market called, um, I, I forgot what it's called, but it has a Japanese bookstore called Kinokuniya and they also have all kinds of Japanese toys and blind boxes. So we're gonna look around and I'm gonna pick up some stuff. This one is a little blind box. I believe it comes with the candy and you get one of these figures and this box is actually pretty, pretty heavy. And then this one, you get a um, Pikachu figure, but you have to build it. Here, let me see if I can show you guys. So it comes in pieces and you have to build it. Oh my goodness, all the cute stationery. Oh, is that washi? I think it's a page flag set. And then they have like tissue and these are supposed to go on top of the wet tissue. Blind boxes. Ooh, all 30% off. Some Nendoroids. They have the Joker one. These are all 30% off. But I don't really see anything that I might want. These are full. They're like little bundles of blind bag items. And there as a bundle, 10% off. So many books, but so many people, so I can't really talk loud. Clear file folders. Okay, I'm gonna just give you guys a quick pan and I'm gonna deep dive into this pile of awesomeness. And then there's more on my back too, on the back. <gasps> Haru, I haven't seen you in a while. And there's Makoto. These might not excite everyone, but they do excite me. The pretty colored paper, origami papers, paper. So I am actually back home now and I wanted to quickly show you guys the things I got from my Oregon trip. Um, I was actually going to do like a wrap up when we were in Oregon but every time we went back to the hotel I was so tired that I just wanted to like you know take a shower and just plop down and rest so that's what I usually did and hence I never really got to completely show you all the things I got from Oregon so I'm going to start on that now so we went to Fred Meyers and from Fred Meyers I didn't buy anything because I didn't really find anything that I wanted to bring home that I couldn't find here um, but we also went to this we actually went to several but the biggest toy store, the biggest mini toy store, like a, you know what I mean, like a smaller toy store that we went to was called Under the Big Tops or Under the Big Toe or something like that. <laughs> um, and from that store, I found, you know, you saw, I found the Lottie dolls and I thought they were super duper cute and I wanted to buy at least two or three of them, but I really talked to myself, you know like in my head and I was like I don't think I'll be able to bring two or three dolls and I wanted to see if I like them in person first like 
after opening them and if I do like them enough then I will order more so I ended up just getting one and I got the Muddy Puddles um, Lottie doll I really wanted the boy one as well but this one um right now as far as I can tell the clothing quality looks so good like the buttons are actually sewn on and like the cuffs are actually like sewn on with different materials so I am actually really liking this doll so far as how it looks in the box but I just kind of have to touch it and feel it I think they're not going to be articulated which is not the biggest issue with this doll for me because like the clothing looks really good and also if I like them enough I can always change them into an art articulated body um, to play with it more and whatnot so yeah so I got this one I will be able to open it maybe in a few weeks because I, as you guys might already know I have a lot of travel plans after this trip I have another trip coming up towards the end of September so sometime in the beginning of September I really want to you know open it up and like really take a close look at this doll then from the same store um, we found Ryan and I found this Disney Thomas Kincaid puzzle. This one is 12 by 18, so 24 inches by 18 inches um, in size and it's got 300 pieces. We have really had no luck. Um, we had one that we found of um, Sleeping Beauty a while ago which we put together and we framed and it's on our wall but we have really had no luck finding these in 300 pieces and we really wanted to find 300 pieces they have 500 and 750 pieces at like everywhere but we wanted 300 pieces because not because we're not up to the challenge because I love you know puzzles and whatnot but the smaller the pieces get more details it can lose so in order to kind of preserve the details, we really wanted to find the 300 pieces and we really didn't have any luck for months and months and months until we went to this toy store and they had this one and also I think they have Beauty and the Beast and maybe one other design but we really like this one um, the most. So we picked up the Little Mermaid design of this puzzle and we're going to probably put it together really soon and then we're going to put it in a frame. So yeah, that's all I got from that little toy store. Now these are the stuff that I got from um, the Japanese store. You guys saw that um, outside of the Japanese market, they had this festival going on. So it was like a summer matsuri that they do. Um, and they had a bunch of little booths and some of most of them were like Japanese food. Booth, but there was one that was selling like you know old toys and she was you could tell that she was just kind of trying to clear out her collection and within her collection she had some of these um, Pokemon blind boxes so I'm going to open them up so I got one with Tortodile and Turd Twig um, here is Chikorita and here is um, Trico so I got four boxes she had other designs too but she kind of overpriced a lot of them so I kind of dug into her little bin and found the ones that she wasn't really overpricing and that's why I only bought four blind boxes if they weren't really overpriced I probably would have gotten more but like they, she was selling like tiny like little one that you can probably find in aftermarket for less than ten dollars for twenty dollars so I could not justify that price um so yeah I got those four blind boxes and then in the store um this is not a toy item in fact I thought I was going to purchase a whole bunch of toys and blind boxes when I went to the Japanese market but I ended up coming back with no toys um, but I still wanted to kind of show it to you guys so I got this eyeliner which I'm not gonna lie to you I've never used this eyeliner brand of eyeliner but I kind of always eyed on it because of the packaging because of the artist um, this is the artist that created Rose of Versailles. I don't know if you guys know old anime, but it's like one of the classics that you should watch if you are into anime. Um, but this illustration was by, this is actually um, by Ikeda Ryoko. So yeah, I was like, you know what? Even if I do not like the eyeliner, at least I can have beautiful art and I can put it in my scrapbook. But I'm pretty sure I would like the line, um, eyeliner too because I usually just use um like the the felt tip eyeliner just to kind of draw out the lines and then i go in with my um, mac eyeliner to fill it in so if even if it's like a little smudgy it's not a big problem for me because once i put it once i put my other second eyeliner over it, it becomes like waterproof so yeah I got that eyeliner and here are the other stuff i got one um zig 
brush pen. I don't really own any Zig brush pens and I wanted to get one to try out because I've heard really good things about it. So I got the soft um, pink color. Then I got these two washi um, like cut out st strips. They're not washi tapes, but they are um, cut out in like a, a page flag like size and they come in this like foldable packaging. So you could just like fold it over like this and carry it around. And I thought that was really cool. So I got this design if I could show you guys. So I got this design and then here is the second design I got. So I got two of them. Then I also got um, <laughs> some origami paper. I am not going to make origami with them but they're going to be used in my um, scrapbook um, or my journal. So these are both Studio Ghibli or Studio Ghibli how you want to pronounce it. I pronounce it Studio Ghibli because that's how in Japanese mind is spelled out with a G. G yeah, Ghibli. If they if they wrote it in Japanese, it would be Studio Ghibli. Yeah. So I got um, Totoro and then Kiki's Delivery Service. So yeah, I got those two. I really wanted to get all of them, but these were not really cheap. So I had to kind of watch my budget. Like I always say in my toy hunting video, like, yes, there are times when I do splurge when I do have the extra fund. But most of the time when I do my toy hunts and shopping, I try to stay within my budget because I'm not trying to go broke by being happy, um, purchasing my happy purchases, you know? Um, so yeah, that was that. And then I got two books that are related to dolls. I was aware of um, these books for a long time and they come out, um, I, I wouldn't say every month, maybe every quarter. But um, they have this they have this issue of Dolly Bird and they were featuring Kokoryan, which is a Korean um Korean BJD company and they make a lot of adorable animal BJDs so I really wanted to like own this copy and in the book they have a whole bunch of like features and beautiful photos um, they also show you how to make some doll clothing which is really fun and I believe they also have um, some patterns on the back so like some of them like are tutorials and some releases coming out and all those stuff and there is a doll clothing pattern in the back so that was dolly bird issue 29 and then i also got dolly dolly this is you know the same idea as dolly bird this one is volume 38 and here it is let's see I totally just hit my face with that. Um, there are some patterns like I like the other one too and some beautiful photos and features and whatnot. So yeah, I picked up these two books and I'm really, really happy. I can't wait to go through them. I do already own some Dolly Bird and Dolly Dolly. So yeah, they'll, they'll go in my bookshelf with the other issues. So those are all of the things I got from my Oregon trip and I was really happy to spend this really special vacation with our friends. It was just an amazing trip all around. So I hope you guys enjoyed the toy hunting video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, 